Good evening and welcome back. Well, you dark and now. Oh, look, you can see me now. Oh, well, bye, old guys. Well, night's over here because I had the lamp on. Because I had the lamp on. Because I don't want to turn on the other light because it's almost bedtime. But why is it almost bedtime? Because it's 10 o'clock. Almost 10 o'clock. Yeah, almost 10 o'clock. By this time tomorrow, I should be on my way home from the game. Whereas the raider, well, at least for tomorrow night over, only the cobra chickens. Uh, play, play the Saskatoon blades. Cobra chickens. I don't get it, but I don't understand it either. Of all the things to be rebranded, the Cobra Chickens? I don't know, they're all... They're all assholes, but... But not the hockey team, but... I, que I question this, though. But I digress. But I, dig I, I don't get it, but I digress. While we're on the subject of hockey, I just... I, yeah, it'll be game five. Day game five, nobody won their series. Philadelphia won game five, and there's about three games to two on the Rangers, as well as Boston is up three games to two on Chicago after being in Chicago. Game six Saturday. Why? Because that's how I scheduled it. And if you don't like it, well, I don't care. I don't care about your problems. I see you. Let's do some NHL stadiums while we're on the subject of Rangers still play at Mass and Square Gardens. Philadelphia, when they first joined the league, started at the Spectrum. I think they're in the Wells Fargo Center now, in their current building. I don't know. Bruins, many years at the Boston Garden. Until they're, in their, they're now in their newer building, I forget the name of it. And the Chicago Blackhawks, who started, who had the Madhouse on Madison, Chicago Stadium, once hosted an indoor NFL game, believe it or not. Look it up. In 1994, they moved into the United Center. Old teams, well, Minnesota North Stars played at the Met Center. Uh, let's see. One of the San Jose Sharks, when they first started, had to play in the Cow Palace. Yes, that's what they named the stadium, the Cow Palace. Oakland, Oakland Seals, I forget where they played now. And then when the Seals moved the Cleveland becoming the Barons. They actually play in a stadium midway between Cleveland and Akron named the Richfield Coliseum. And you wonder why they suffered from low attendance. Yeah, uh, yeah, half somewhere in between Akron and Cleveland. And you, yeah. That's why one reason why the Barons ended up, I guess, well, I was going to say full, but they merged with the North Stars because both teams financially struggling, but Cleveland was also a bad team. They were a bad team when they were the Seals, and they were a bad team when they were in Cleveland. Quebec Nordiques played in the Colisee. Well, we're on the subject of original six buildings. I mentioned three. Detroit, for quite a few years, played in played in the Olympia. I think it was 1980. 79 or 80 moved into the Joe Louis Arena. I know they played in the Little Caesars Arena. Little Caesars. Mm. Let's see. Maple Leafs. Mutual Street Arena until they moved into the 
Maple Leaf Gardens. You know, they're at the Scotia, Scotia Bank Center, who's formerly the Air Canada Center. Apparently, the Maple Leaf Gardens took five months to build. And Con Smythe managed just how bad the depression was. Con Smythe, when, he, when the construction crew built the arena, the Con Smythe condom and, well, convinced them to buy, get, get their pay in stocks. I forget in what, but that was a story I heard. Yeah, that was the Great Depression for you. Let's see, I'm Montreal. Played in the Forum. Actually, they played it in... Actually, they did play in the Forum, and then now the... I forget the name of the building. Now it's the Bell Center, I think. Well, it might have been with the... Name was at the start of the current building. Memories going. Both the Wanderers and the Canadians had a shared their building in the first season. They had burned, I think, shared their building. Or maybe not. Wanderers building burned down. It's like, yeah. Let's see. Pittsburgh play. Penguins played in the Civic Arena prior to playing in the PPG Paints Arena. Oh, good Lord, man. St. Louis Blues played in the Checker Dome for a while. Oh, geez. I, I can tell I'm kind of thinking here. Edmonton Oilers. Played at the Edmonton Gardens, which is where the Edmonton Expo Center currently sits. Yes, it's right there. You see, the, if you end up going to the ice rink there, I think that was a spot. And they played in that building until, they, until Northlands Coliseum was finished right across the street. And now they're in the Rogers Center, Rogers Place. Got to see games at Northlands Coliseum. Got to see their, got to see them play in the Rogers Arena. Honestly, I thought Northlands Coliseum was in decent shape still. Now eventually gonna rip it down. Yeah, and when the water, water. Well, the Oilers were in the World Hockey Association at this time. First game there, they still didn't even... They hadn't installed all the seats yet. Figure that out. So the fans got to, had, had cushions. Uh, the Atlanta Flames played in the Omni. Played in the Omni. Then until they moved... They got, until Nelson Scalbini bought the team and moved into Calgary. Then they had to play in the Corral, which is about eight or 9,000 seats until the Saddle Dome was finished. Now eventually they're going to get a new stadium. Winnipeg, MTS Center. The original just played at the Winnipeg Arena. The old Quebec Nordiques played at the Colisee. Now the current team plays at the Pepsi Center. Well, it was a Pepsi Center. Dallas Stars, the Reunion Arena. I forget what the name of the building now, but. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'd... Ah, I look at some of the teams. Oh, the Buffalo Sabres. The odd. From their first season right up until I think the end of the 95, 96 season they played. Or it was the 94, 95 season. They played the, in the odd. 
And they moved right across the street into their current building. When it opened, it was the Marine Midland Arena. Let's see who else? Oh, the Kings. The Fabulous Forum in Englewood. At least that's what Jack and Good called it. The Fabulous Forum. Oh, I think I might have gotten all the other expansion six teams. Uh, yeah, it's getting too hard to think. I know and I kind of want to fall asleep again, so I'm going to call it a night. So in the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned for the next one.